occupational health and safety, a critical employability skill. Look at that. Occupational health and safety is a critical employability skill that has to be taken seriously. If products, equipment and tools are not used based on the required occupational standards, then this can lead to more harm than good. Regardless of where you work, there is always the possibility of an accident or damage to someone's health. In Jamaica, between 2013 and 2014, the Ministry of Labor received 383 reports of injuries received on the job. The reality is, all work exposes people to hazards, whether they are manually handled, dangerous machinery, toxic substances, or even psychological hazards such as stress. It is therefore the responsibility of both the worker and the employer to ensure that they do all that is necessary to have a hazard-free work environment. In essence, if an employee doesn't work in a healthy environment, they cannot perform their job satisfactorily. So what can we do to ensure that this employability skill is never compromised? Listen as we take you through a few do's and don'ts on this crucial critical employability skill. As an employee, it is important that you take the initiative to identify hazards before they occur. Preventing hazardous situations from becoming potential accidents is a key responsibility of all employees to ensure a safe and healthy work environment. Using products, equipment and tools according to manufacturer specifications is important. So employees must know how to operate tools and equipment to get the best results and prevent personal harm and loss to the company. Of equal importance is the use of personal protective equipment. Ignoring this can be detrimental to an employee if these are not utilized according to the standards and policies of the organization and the industry. Move on, let me oh, see. I'm blind. You're lucky. You should not wear your face guard. Face guard? I'm too late for that now. Brother, you know your breach. We breach and we do these things. Machine dead now. Let us try and fix it. Couldn't do that at a better time after it nearly blind me. Oh boy. Oh, me eye, me eye, me eye. Move on, let me see it. No, me eye. Move on, let me see it, man. It's not there, man. It's on and eat it. You're lucky. A good thing you're there with your safety goggles. Real safety is the key when you are working with these things. Go try machine and safe tower. Many industries have zero tolerance when it comes to breaking safety rules. Lack of adherence to these rules can be quite lethal, leading to severe injuries and even death. So when you are trained to follow the rules, please do so. When lifting heavy items, there are guidelines to follow such as bending at the knees, squatting to the level of the load and using protective gear such as back braces. If the right equipment to lift is not available or there is no equipment to be used, a team should be utilized to lift every heavy item. Practicing ergonomics is equally important to your health and safety. Some employees are required to sit at a desk for hours working on their laptops. Having the right chair to ensure correct posture is maintained makes a remarkable difference. So too is using the correct keyboard to prevent health issues such as carpal tunnel syndrome. Always be on the alert for spills, exposed wires, torn carpets, cracked tiles or equipment such as ladders which can obstruct the walkway. Report to them when they are seen. As a responsible employee, it is your duty to report hazards and accidents when observed. Accidents must be reported immediately in accordance with your organization's policy and standards. Do not play practical jokes. There is a popular saying, what is joke to you is death to another. 
and this is very true on the job when dealing with hazardous items and equipment. Respect and abide by the safety drills when they are conducted as these will help you to be prepared to act as required in a real-life situation. Always remember that occupational health and safety is the right of the worker. Employers must make every effort to ensure that their employees work in a safe and healthy environment. But it is also the responsibility of the employee to ensure that they use the products, tools and equipment correctly and wear the right safety gear. It is also the responsibility of every employee to participate in staff welfare events which will engage the mind and body in beneficial activities. So join the gym at work, form exercise groups, get enough sleep. Remember healthy mind and body will increase your productivity. This critical employability skill of occupational health and safety is nothing to play with. Let's aim for a safe and healthy workplace.